My name is Jim Sharp. I have the love of motorcycles. I've been riding motorcycles since I was about eight years old. We're at Brandon Harley-Davidson, located in Tampa, Florida, off of Highway 60. Uh, this dealership is my home dealership. I buy all my motorcycles. I'm on my 13th Harley. I am a member of the Hawk chapter here, uh, chapter 8194. I stay really busy, and that's why I like to ride my motorcycle on the weekends. I used to play a lot of softball over the years, uh, about 34 years of, with a traveling team. I would have games that I would have severe pain in my left knee. Never figured out what it was. I thought it was just a strain. Uh, and I got to the point where I, I, I felt like I was maybe not safe to ride my motorcycle. And that's one of, the, one of the biggest loves of my life is riding my bike. My motorcycle loaded with all the gear is a thousand pound motorcycle. And having a weak knee or having a knee that's not functioning properly or still in still pain, which I didn't have, it's, it's very hard to ride and, and keep it uh, balanced. Uh, there is a gentleman that is in our Hawk chapter named Colonel Ron Rook. I, we were having conversation, and that's how Michael Miranda's name came up. Michael Miranda, is, to me, uh, is one of the uh, premier orthopedic doctors in this area. I sat down with him, and he gave me all my options. And he left nothing unsaid. Uh, he gave me models to look at. This is what you can expect. This is the process. He said, I'm going to recommend not having a full knee replacement because you don't need it. Uh, that's one of the many things that I liked about uh, Dr. Miranda. He was always accommodating with information. I didn't have to pull anything out of him. He always gave me the information that I was looking for, and I always walked out of his office feeling uh, satisfied and, and content with his diagnosis. Most time, when you back in years past, you'd have a knee surgery of any kind. It was an, always an overnight visit. That's not the case anymore. We were in and out. Uh, I think I went in at 6 a.m. and was back out, uh, getting in, into the car, heading back home at, at 2. The process was, went well. The staff was very accommodating. Uh, they didn't rush me out of recovery. They answered all my questions about my rehab. They answered all my questions on, on uh, what I could do and what I couldn't do. Naturally, my first question was, when can I ride my bike again? He got tired of me asking him that. Every visit that I went to, he got tired of me asking, when can I ride my motorcycle again? So um, Dr. Miranda has always been, uh, he's been very accommodating uh, and very uh, truthful with me. He's, not, he's never told me anything that I wanted to hear. He's always told me exactly what uh, my rehab was gonna take and how long it was gonna take. Don't put it off. It's not gonna get any better. You're gonna take ibuprofen, you're gonna take whatever it takes to try to make you feel better, but do not put it off it's because the, the injury that you've suffered or the, 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 the soreness and the pain, it's not gonna go away. Go see him, sit down with him and let him show you and tell you your options. Because there's one other thing about Dr. Moran that I can say, he will never oversell you on what you have to have done with your joints. He's always, uh, he's very straightforward. Uh, he could have told me I needed a whole total knee replacement, but he didn't. And, and a partial would have been fine. So uh, he's very calming, um, and uh, I just highly recommend him if you ever have knee pain or shoulder pain or elbow pain or wrist pain, go see Dr. Michael Moran.